Hey guys, today we are making a low carb instant pot stuffed pepper soup, all while having a whole lot of fun. It's very, very good. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Chris from RecipesAtCrock.com and today we are making a low carb instant pot stuffed pepper soup. I'm also going to give you the uh, tips on how to make this uh, in a crock pot too so you can play along today if you would like. But all you're going to need is a pound of ground beef. I've already got mine in the instant pot where I've cooked it on the saute feature with two tablespoons of minced onion, a dried minced onion, and about a tablespoon of um, minced garlic. And so uh, you can do this if you're not using an instant pot for your crock pot, you can do it in um, on a skillet and then transfer this cooked ground beef to your slow cooker. So that's the way you can play along at home. What we're gonna add to this is about three cups of beef broth. We took a cup of this out last night to make our um, uh, make some electric pressure cooker Mississippi beef around here so I knew I had three cups left in my beef broth cart carton and to that we are going to use 24 ounces of marinara sauce and this is what's making this low carb because we are using the lowest carb marinara sauce we can find we use the Rayo's brand brand a lot here and if I were thinking, I would have put this in first and then used my beef broth to get the last little bit of that out. But it's been a bit of a hectic day today, so I totally wasn't thinking. So, there we go. All right, and to that, we're going to add a cup of frozen cauliflower rice. And so that's just riced cauliflower. Um, if you can see it, uh, it's just little bitty bits of cauliflower. This is going to take the place of traditional rice in our low carb version here. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of chopped bell pepper. You can use green, you can use red, orange, yellow. Today we're using red and yellow because that's what I had. super easy to throw together. Today in the camper kitchen we uh, had to move so or we didn't have to but that's a long story. Um, <laughs> we um, moved today so I'm trying to get a quick lunch together for my crew so everybody can be uh, have full tummies and be um, in a good mood. Um, to that I'm going to add I believe yes a half a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of basil. Now my Rayo's already has that flavor. Of, it has a basil tomato sauce. So if you don't already have those flavors built into your marinara, I'm putting the wrong lid on there. If you don't already have those uh, flavors built into your marinara, you could up that to a teaspoon, pretty easy. Now we're just gonna salt and pepper to taste and you can add more salt and pepper at the end if it does, if it feels like it needs it. All right, so we're just gonna give this a nice little stir and we are going to put this under pressure for 15 minutes and then let it naturally release for 15 minutes and I'll be back here in three, two, one. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if you're using a crock pot, you can just cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for two to three. And we are back. I let this come up to 15 minutes, or I let this come up to high pressure and cooked it for 15 minutes. Then I let it naturally re release for 15 minutes. And then I flipped it over to quick release so it let the rest of the steam off. And now it is time for lunch. So I'm going to let this steam come off and put up my little camera here so you all can see. But now we're just going to stir this up. Yum, 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 yum. See all those flavors in there? Okay, I'm gonna put me a couple scoops in my bowl. Now normally, 
I would top mine with mozzarella cheese, but we're out of mozzarella cheese. So I think most of the family is probably going to use Parmesan cheese. But then I got to looking in the refrigerator and the local grocery store here has dill garlic cheese curds, which I think will taste amazing in this. So I'm just gonna put a few of them in as my cheesy topping. You can eat it without cheese completely if you would prefer. Um, but I like me some cheese. So I'm just gonna put some of these very yummy cheese curds. We love snacking on these. Um, we've been taking them on hikes with us in a little cooler bag. I'm gonna come up there and see you guys and show you how yummy this dish is. Actually, I'm gonna taste it really quickly to see if I need to add any salt. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the whole pot for the family. Whoops, sorry I bumped you. It's always easier to add salt at the end than it is to add it or to take it, try and make it less salty. Alrighty. So you've got your peppers and your beef and you can see the little pieces of cauliflower in there. They kind of just add to the overall texture and flavor. And then my cheese curd has melted perfectly. Mmm, I love this flavor it, and it changes a little bit depending on which um, what, which color uh, bell pepper you like. So if you don't like green bell peppers, I'd encourage you to try it with red and vice versa because it gives it just a little bit of a different taste when you try it with different colors. It's very, very good. Mmm-hmm. This has been a favorite on the website for years for our high carbers. Um, and we've been making it for about two years now, low carb for ourselves, but I'm just now getting it up on the website so you guys can eat along at home. But if you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below. Become a member of our slow cooking family around here or our instant potting family. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the bell down below. We call that the dingling around here. And that bell will tell YouTube that you'd like notified every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.